Physical Dana White had the me and Chin were talking about some below the belt, and it. I don't know how I feel about it. He said this, and you give me your take on this. You know, all these guys saying they want more money, all this stuff. He says, "Fighting the UFC is not a career; it's an opportunity." Soak that. That's in. a really interesting. That's a really interesting thing to say, isn't it? And I, I have to say, I don't entirely disagree. That's what I said. I mean, if if, and this is, with all due respect, if. My son comes to me and he's really talented. Say, and he's got all, and he at, says, at I want to make a career of fighting. Mm -hmm. And I'd go, and he said, I want, it, I want it to be MMA. I would say to him, are you going to be a champion? And are you going to hold that belt for a long time? Because that couldn't be a worse career choice in a lot of ways. Here's the problem, B. I went on this whole rant on how you shouldn't look at odds when you're making a career decision. I understand. Anything. Look, I was an actor. Believe me. Correct. You still are. Mm -hmm. you're not, you didn't pass away. No, I mean, away. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Jesus Christ. A couple of you just hours. got your lids down, Pop. You're not going to no, die. That's true. That's true. But um, you, you can't look at odds in anything. So if your son comes to you and goes, Dad, I want to be in the UFC. And you go, if, do you want to hold the bell? And he goes, oh, no, I don't want to be that good. Then he shouldn't do it. Right. Any, mm -hmm. I guarantee you. I will guarantee everybody, any fighter you've going ever with, talked everybody to. Everybody wants to be a champion. When you talked to me when I first got to the UFC, they said, what's the goal? The belt. World champion. The belt. Every single person 100%. you saw last Saturday night fight, every single person believes. They're building a career. Oh, no, fuck a career. Every single person believes on that card they're the next Conor That's McGregor. Right. It's the only way you're even going to get to the dance. It gets you through training. It gets you through competition. It gets you it gets through you your through darkest moments. Yeah. I, I agree. You can't step on anybody's dreams. You can't, and dreams are irrational, and dreams should be irrational. A lot of times, you you will feel like so many people. I say, what do you want? Like, ask them what you want. What would you ask for if you knew you couldn't be refused? That's a really important question because it forces you to face up to act what you really want. But most of us don't say that to ourselves because it, there's no way, right? It sounds irrational, but most dreams are not rational. Most dreams are pretty crazy. That's why you can't. Look I, at, honestly, when you said you want to stand up, odds. <clears throat> the reason I get so excited when you come off and crush after you know, and and when we're on the road. When you told me you wanted to be a stand-up, I was very worried. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was. Well, you should be. And, and frankly, when you told me uh, you want to be a stand-up, I said, this is a disaster. Yeah. And I tried to kind of talk you out of it. I know. And you do a joke about it, because what happened? My voice got really high. I was like, oh, yeah. oh, cool. Oh, oh, oh. I, you know what I said when he said I want to be a stand-up? Because it was hard for him to admit it. I went, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yep. oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. That's all I could say, because... I didn't. I didn't know he. I. I, I always knew he's funny, but I, this is a very difficult gig. Yeah, but imagine. Yeah, imagine saying. if I listened to everybody. Well, that's on what I mean. But that's what I mean. On anything. But it's a good message to fucking. It's my same message for people that read comments online. Why would you give any of those people validation on anything? Look, because if you listen to any of that, you're never going to do anything. Yeah. Because the the because they didn't chase any of their dreams and that's why that's where the hate and the regret comes from yep. and the hate that someone who's living their dream that's where they uh, they 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 go at them they they lash out at Look, those it's, people it's it's hard you don't listen to your friends it, you don't listen to your family you sure especially your friends online. and family actually i would say especially online any person you admire any person you admire never listen to comments or what family or friends said because anyone with a rational brain would go no you can't do that yeah, because that's that your own parents. You. Your own parents. My my an acting teacher used to say, "Don't go home for the holidays because your parents and your siblings are going to talk you out of your dream, and they're going to talk you out of your dream because they love you and they're worried about you." And I'll and I'll tell you this: if that your idea. family, friends, or online can talk you out of your dream, then you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, it's not your. Dream. There's not a person on this earth who could talk me out of doing anything I want to do. They don't exist. Whether it was you, Rogan, my dad, Jay, there's not a person, man. Yeah. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. You'll do what I say. <laughs> You'll do what I say. Well, I'm going to dock your pay then. <laughs> You're not going to dock <laughs> shit. I'm your boss. You're not going to dock. your boss. Not, your, not my boss. Your boss. You do what I say. I'm your boss. And I got a flat hand that says yes, and I got a flat hand that says even harder yes. Now, right? I have good news and <laughs> bad dot. news. I was, not dot. Now, hold on. I have good news and bad news. I've been training. Good news is, not, take the wisdom I just dropped. Yeah. The bad news is, boss, I'm going to take 60-40 now. <laughs> You're not boss. Boss. Not boss. Boss. All right? But my hand is heavy. <laughs> my hand is swollen. Hold on. You're right. Hold on. Let me call the boss and see what he says about the merch split. Hold on. Yeah. Is this Brendan? Hey, no, this no. is him. Hey. You want to do 80-20? No. Listen, dude. He needs the... No. Okay. No. I talked to him. Fair. They want to do 80-20, no. but I'm not going to do that. No. That, that. <laughs> but... <laughs> Tell you this right now yeah 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 watch your tone
Oh, okay. What's going to happen? What are you going to do? Use some of that <laughs> boxing you've been doing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.